Hey, you're just in time for VP Playback Trivia. Hey, from last week, I just want to talk real quickly. Our champions was your high school sports, and you know what? I want to talk about this because on the screen that's behind me when I'm on the show, there's this purple pig. And people are like, what is the purple pig? What's up with the purple pig? So we actually had cash in the purple pig. So what we're going to do right now is take you to last week and talk about that purple pig and your high school sports winning it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just before we go and close the show out, we did something fun. We got a little purple pig that ends up on the TV screen, and it had money in it. It represented the age, which I'm 48, so we got $48 and 48 pennies. And I want to say congratulations to Mr. Roddy Woods. Hey, and along with Chris, 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 Chris Blavitt, we won it. Yeah, representing your high school sports, so your high school sports team won the Purple Pig. So guess what? They're going to split the pig with the people who played earlier in the show. So what we're going to do? Oh, Got to go real out. quick, Rick. I want you to pull one out because since out. you won, you just okay. pull one out. Pull one out. See who's going to. And the winner is Wesley Heights. <laughs> Wesley Heights, congratulations. <laughs> service. Open year-round for your convenience. Located on 223 West Elk Avenue, Elizabeth. My Smoky TV Channel 195. Go to MySmokyTV.com And, wow! I didn't know this was here. And, of course, Beef O'Brien's located in Elizabeth. Welcome to VP Playback Trivia, and guess what? I'm going to yell for Val if she doesn't mind. We're going to have her jump out here because it's a big week of football, and guess what? That I guess that big game called the Super Bowl is going to be coming on Sunday, and Val, if you can slide right here. We're going to let you talk about a great special that you got going on for people that may want to order some knickknacks for the game. Yes, so we have our boneless wings that you've been advertising. You can get 50 of those on Super Bowl Sunday for $34.99. So that's any flavors you want to do, and it comes with either a ranch or blue cheese. Or you can get 50 traditional wings for $44.99 and mix the flavors and get a ranch or a blue cheese. It's a good deal. We only do it once a year, and that's on Super Bowl Sunday. Good deal. Thank you, Val. All right. Hang around real quick because I'm going to introduce our guests today. I'll let you take their order. And like I said, be sure to get those wings. We actually got some of the wings that they're going to sample here in just a moment. But let's get started with today's VP Playback Trivia by introducing somebody that you're probably familiar with, but he hasn't been on the show for a while. He won our in-house round this week. He's ranked at number two, but he'll probably catapult to number one. Give it up for Trackstar. How are you tonight? Oh, I'm doing great, man. Trackstar, we haven't seen you up here in a while. Where you been? Well, Santa Claus is not here, so I actually got back on TV. And, you know, <laughs> Cooter's taking a sick day, so I, I had a chance. You had a chance. <laughs> Squeak coming in. Well, I got a feeling you're probably going to catapult him this week in the rankings. I'll be sure to let him know. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back on. Well, All thank right. you. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got somebody who's filling in. From last week's champion, like I said, this is snowing today, but that didn't stop a lot of people from still coming to Beef O'Brady's. So filling in, we have somebody who actually is a member at the church that I attend. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dr. Reverend Javon Bass. Hey. <laughs> All right. I understand that you recently have become, you're able to add the doctor to your name, right? Yes, sir. Well, talk a little bit about, about well, you. Graduated in June with my doctorate in biblical studies. Awesome, awesome. Now, there's something I want you to talk about on this screen that's behind Val. I know people that's been watching the show, they've been seeing hats, gloves, and socks that's been just popping up there. I know you've been asking, well, what is that up there? Well, we've got the man here that's going to tell you so. 
Tell us what the hats, gloves, and socks represent. Hats, gloves, and socks comes from Brown's Chapel Emmy Zion Church. From our men's ministry, it is a project that we started two years ago to help the homeless and people in need that are cold and need warmth. Well, I understand that uh, you brought some here, some that are left behind. So are you going to give those away right here? Yes, sir. All we right. are. Awesome. We well, appreciate it. Thank you for being on the show. And we have another fill-in. Our special guest, like I said, it's snowing here, so our, our weather was a little bad, and they were coming from Knoxville. So we have another fill-in, but he's no stranger to the show. He actually was our first guest, if you can remember, three years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call him by what I call him. His name is Brandon Watts, but I'm going to call him what I call him. I know him as, let's give it up for B. Watts. <laughs> All right, Brandon, now. A lot of amazing things have happened since you were last on the show. So just tell everybody about what you're doing now. Lord, I, I, I started a company about a year and a half ago. It's called Legacy Nightlife. Uh, basically, when, when we first started, we was just kind of touring around doing adult proms, masquerade balls, Great Gatsby parties, that sort of, that sort of thing. Over the time, you know, it, it's turned into now... I do a ton of weddings, birthday parties, anything like that, DJ services, lighting, sound, anything that you could possibly want, uh, videography, photography. We've got, a, we've got a complete staff. And then uh, here about eight, about eight months ago, uh, started a, a co-promotion with MMA. So, so nice. me, and, me and my partner Casey Oxendine, uh, own showcase MMA, so cool, cool. Just, just constantly busy. Man. Oh, so I guess the lifestyle you're living, a lot of action is going on week to week. Huh? Yeah, we're just we're I'm on the road all the time. Man. Hey, that's awesome. That's time. awesome. But I, but I'm still doing music too. I'm, I I took some time off and and I got an album coming out here oh. probably in the summertime. Nobody right. knows it yet. Uh oh. So this, so it's a world premiere announcement, huh? That's it. Uh oh, that's it's it. about to that's drop it. this yes. summer. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you for coming in last minute in the cold weather to be here on VP Playback yes, Trivia. Love having you. All right, Val's still here, and our special guest is B. Watts, so I'm gonna pass the mic to you, and you can take his away. All right, do you know what you would like to order tonight? Uh, I just wore some fried pickles. Fried pickles? Fried pickles. Okay, Bro, yeah. I gotcha, Give I got some back there. <laughs> Napkins? He made that easy for you, huh? <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give it up for Val. She does a wonderful job. Her and the crew, give it up for her. Thanks, Val. Okay, we've got some great appetizers there. It looks like we have the quesadillas and, like I said, the wings that we've been talking about. We're going to let them dive into it, but not quite yet, guys, until we come back with more VP Playback Trivia right after this. Hey, with the new tax reform, are you concerned about your taxes this year? Well, if you thought you didn't need DNK Tax Service before, you definitely will need them now. You see, DNK Tax Service has been locally owned and operated for over 34 years, equipped with a friendly and highly skilled and certified staff always ready to help you, whether as an individual, business, partnership, or corporation. 127 years of combined experience is waiting to serve you. They treat you like family, so call or come visit DNK Tax Service in Elizabeth and open year-round for your convenience. This is Mike Mays with Elizabeth Twins, and you're watching VP Playback Trivia. Oh, we're back. Hey, welcome back to VP Playback Trivia. I'm your host, Chris Reddick, and guess what? Before we get started with the game here, you see me, I'm, I'm wearing a plethora of different things. I've got the Elizabeth and Twins hat. I'm wearing an old Southern Syndicate sweatshirt. And the reason why I'm wearing it, I know I've been wanting to share this story for the last five weeks. But I want to talk about Gerald Oliver at Pep Screen and Embroidery here in Elizabeth. And the reason why I brought this shirt out, or the sweatshirt out, is I used to be part of the Southern Syndicate. We had a variety of musical artists that were part of it. But I'm wearing this because I want to let you know how great of screen printing, great a job they do. This was made back in 1996, and nothing has come off of the screen printing. So I just want to let you know how well a job that Pep Screen Printing has done with their 
t-shirts and sweatshirts. Of course, they've sponsored our VP Playback Trivia t-shirts. But like I said, I want to wear a little old school to just show you that once you get a shirt from them, it's going to last you a long time. All right, guys. We got a lot of familiar people here, so we're going to get started kinda with... kind of breaks my heart. I'm the only thing on the TV older than the sweatshirt. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's kind of got depressing. A, I'm just going to say... Got a, got a young crowd tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I All wish right. Cooter was here now. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make you feel better, huh? All right, what we're going to do, we're going to start it with the first round of VP Playback Trivia. Round number one, question number one. <laughs> Which men's basketball program has the distinction of having reached the Final Four five times but never winning a national championship? Is it A, DePaul Blue Demons? B, Illinois Fighting Illini? C, West Virginia Mountaineers? Or D, Houston Cougars? All right, when the lady screams, you've got to stop writing and turn your answer sheets over. We'll move on to question number two. <laughs> Which of the following football players is actually in the Pro Football Hall of Fame and widely considered one of the best defensive backs of all time? Is it A, Paul Crew? B, Brick Paulot? C, Yell Larry or D Rod Tidwell. <laughs> All right, the lady screams. That means you have to stop, turn your answer sheet over as we move on to question number three. <laughs> In the 1979 Major League Baseball season, this Toronto Blue Jays player hit only 237 with two home runs, but by 1988, he was playing in the NBA All-Star Game. I know that. Is it A, Xavier McDaniel, B, Danny Ainge, C, Lafayette Lever, or D, Steve Johnson? Okay, either you guys knew that or you just had a, I guess, crazy quick guess on that. Huh? All right, guess what? Their homework is done. We're going to find out how well our contestants have done when we come back with more VP Playback Trivia right after this. My name is Tiffany Cook and I was recently married. One of the best decisions that I made and one of the most important was my entertainment. That is why I went with Chris Riddick from Venture Productions. It was by far the most important decision because let's face it, it's important that your guests are entertained at your wedding and they're not bored. He made sure from start to finish that my guests had the best time and to this day they're still talking about it from the start of the ceremony right to the close of it and all in between. It was probably the most fun everyone ever had at a wedding. It's the moment you've been waiting all your life is your wedding day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Patricia of Patty's Pretty Pieces for Paparazzi and just going to talk about um, Paparazzi pizzas are actually better than hyperallergenic because they are all lead free, they are all nickel free and guilt free because they're only five dollars plus tax. All of the necklaces will come with the matching earrings 
So it's a great investment, even if you have sensitive skin, you can wear it, the rings. Um, you can wear anywhere from a six to a 10. They'll fit a six through a 10 because it does have the expandable on the back. Beautiful pieces. Come see me, Patty's Pretty Pieces for Paparazzi. Hey guys, I'm Robbie Woods, host of Your High School Sports along with Chris Blevins, and we're here with VP Playback Trivia. Welcome back to VP Playback Trivia. As you can see, I just shed off the pep screen printing sweatshirt that I've had for 23 years. Still in good condition. Now I'm showcasing since 1974, the Elizabeth and Twins have been around. We want to thank Mike Maines. He's been on the show for the last two weeks. He got put out last week, but guess what? He left us some goodies to give away to our fans who actually play VP Playback Trivia if they happen to win. So this is what we're sporting right now. All right, let's find out how well our contestants have done. We're going to first start with our question, and we're going to start with, but let's, let's read the question too one more time. Which men's basketball program has the distinction of having reached the final four five times but never winning a national championship? Track star. What I'm not got? really sure. I said D, but I wanted to say West Virginia. D, Houston Cougars. Okay. I wasn't sure. That was kind of a half guess. <laughs> kind of a half. I saw where you erased, you erased the uh, first answer. Oh, yeah. All right, doctor. Well, I said B. B, Illinois. And unfortunately, oh, no. All right, B, Wise. Did you go with B, C, or D? Go with C. C? You already know. <laughs> That was my first guess. That was your first guess? Uh-oh. But, but, uh, but second question I'm pretty confident with, and it was C, so I knew they both couldn't be. So, I'm so that's how, that's, that was your strategy, huh? Mm -hmm. Working the mind. Thinking how the mind thinks. All right, question number two. Which of the following football players is actually in the Pro Football Hall of Fame and Wally considered one of the best defensive backs of all time? Doctor, we're going to start with you. I know we're going way back, so I know you're pulling one out of the hat here. What do you got? I took a guess and went with A. A, Paul Crew. What do you think? No, that's probably wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> that's, from the, that's from the longest yard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Almost Be what? <laughs> so I, I took a guess, too, and I went with D. D, he might Rod Tidwell. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Sorry. That's from Jerry Maguire. <laughs> yeah. You, you know all the fictional cats. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I take it. Trackstar, what do you have for the right answer? It's either C or the other one, but. Yeah. I just, I, just, uh, I just took out the movies and had All right, two well, well, you're right. You're right on the movie. So, um, of course, the others were fictional characters. Crew was with The Longest, longest Yard. yard. Uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Who was that? That was uh, some kind of opera or whatever. I don't know. Brick Paulette. Yeah. And Tidwell. If y'all remember, Jerry Maguire. Yep. <laughs> All right, question <clears throat> number three. The mind, you know, he's always full of tricks. All right, question number three. In 1979, Major League season, this Toronto Blue Jays player hit only 237 with two home runs, but by 1988, he was playing in the NBA All-Star game. B. Watts, what do you got? I'm going to say B. B. Watts says B. He's correct. Let's see. Survey says. Ding. Okay. And we're going to move to Dr. Reverend Javon Bass. Well, I wasn't born back then, but I couldn't <laughs> guess. And where would be? B. All right. All right. Hang it up. They're hanging on. They're hanging on. All right. You know what? This may end it all right here. Track star, what do you got? 
He played second base and third. He played second base and third base. Oh Main man, edge. this was your game, ladies and gentlemen. No need to go to help Mary tiebreaker. Our new champion once again, not since week number one. Give it up for Trackstar. <laughs> All right, they yelled out and said, that was a quick game. I said, Trackstar, you know, I don't think we've had three in a row in a long time. You said you guessed on the first one, but you're pretty confident on the other guess, two. But I never... Hello? There you go. Okay. No, I, the first one was kind of a guess, but I narrowed it down to two. Yeah. And but the second and third one I knew. Got you, got you. All right, Doctor. Yes, sir. I want to thank you for being on the show. I want to thank you for your contribution to the community, <laughs> but I know some of these questions probably way before your time, yeah, but what, what, what happened? What happened? Well, most of them were <laughs> before my time, but I took a guess on basically all of them, so well, I think well, I did good for getting one right for guessing. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, I'll tell you what, at this time, go ahead and just yell a hello to your mom. Hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, B. Watts, filling in last minute. You got one right. What about the other two? What happened there? Well, it, it, in my defense, yeah. it, was, it was close to my time. You know, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, was, it was older than me. But, and, the, and of course, I grew up playing baseball, yeah. and the only question I get right is the baseball It's the baseball. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so you were right in line it, about it to your skill level. It, it happens. Yeah. It yeah. happens. It happens. All right. Now I got to tell you a funny story. <clears throat> last week, yeah. you had a... It was something, a Deion Sanders question, and they were talking about him playing dual sports. Well, Danny Ainge did it before. Before Deion. He yeah, was, was, and we were actually talking about it, and I showed the guy sitting at the table the Danny Ainge baseball card where he played second base. Now, how many years did he play? Just a couple. Just a couple of years? Yeah. So he was, wasn't bad. It didn't seem like he no. was too bad. It wasn't too bad. So it was kind of funny, but this was just last week yeah. that I showed that, and then you asked that question. So <laughs> I You're always kind of in sync with the game. There's always some – some kind of some strange going on with, with track stuff. That, means I, that means I need to get a life. <laughs> I mean, <there's> something good. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? As a reminder, oh, we got to take a break because well, we're not going to go anywhere. We're going to stay right here. But Val has brought B Watts you, honey. fried pickles. I appreciate. Gal that. Oh yeah, you can clap for the fried pickles. Yeah, we love the fried pickles. All right, I know you're probably trying to figure out at this time, Chris. I still see the beard. Is the weight gone? Did you make it to 199? Guess what? I didn't bring a skill today because there was no need because I didn't do any kind of blind way as I was checking my weight and I want to give you a quick report. I want, hey, much love to Hannah with the ne Neckery Cake Boutique. She did a wonderful job on my cake and it was so right. delicious. And there were some left over and I ate on that cake for two days and I gained a couple of pounds. But I was able to knock it off by the end of the week. So, on the record, I'm down to 205, so I've got six more pounds to go. So, you know, I'm going, yeah, you can give it up. One pound, one pound, because I went over and then I went back under, so get up for a pound. But anyway, that's my report. Yeah. So the beer is going to stay, and uh, I may cheat and have some wings since, you know, the big game is this week, but uh, I'll probably stay with my salads and my regular routine. But it's going to come off. But in the meantime, I want to give a big thank you. To our sponsors, DNK Tax Services. Yeah, give it up for DNK. Of course, we talked about pep screen and embroidery. And of course, Come on. what could we do without Beef Old Brady's and Val and the crew? Give it up Thank for you. them. All right, in the meantime, Val wants me to let you know be sure to order those wings. You still have time. 50 wings. What's that price again? $44.99 traditional and $34.99 for bonus. Be sure to get them before the game because they're going to be here waiting and ready to cook them for you. Hey, enjoy this weekend. Guys, thank you for being on the show. And until next time, have a blessed week. And we'll see you next week on VP Playback Trivia.
Hey, with the new tax reform, are you concerned about your taxes this year? Well, if you thought you didn't need DNK Tax Service before, you definitely will need them now. You see, DNK Tax Service has been locally owned and operated for over 34 years, equipped with a friendly and highly skilled and certified staff always ready to help you, whether as an individual, business, partnership, or corporation. 127 years of combined experience is waiting to serve you. They treat you like family, so call or come visit DNK Tax Service in Elizabeth and open year round for your convenience. It's the day's finally arrived, it's your wedding day. It's the moment you've been waiting all your life, it's your wedding day. Hi, my name is Tiffany Cook and I was recently married. One of the best decisions I made and one of the most important was my entertainment. That is why I went with Chris Riddick from Venture Productions. It was by far the most important decision because, let's face it, it's important that your guests are entertained at your wedding and they're not bored. He made sure from start to finish that my guests had the best time. And to this day, they're still talking about it from the start of the ceremony right to the close of it and all in between. It was probably the most fun everyone ever had at a wedding. It's the moment you've been waiting on your life is your wedding day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, what we're going to do, this is an official way of opening up the dance floor. All right, work it out. The DJ was fantastic. Um, multiple guests thought so. The music was played from a wide variety, so everybody was involved. Um, the DJ was engaged the whole time and kept everybody up on their feet, so nobody just sat around. And overall, it was just a fantastic night, so I just wanted to say thank you. you be 